Oh, hi everybody. Can we take a second and put our cell phones away? Yes, yes, you in the back row, I see you. Put that cell phone away. Good morning, my name is Jennifer Lewer and I'm the Executive Director for Community Relations with the Tempe Union High School District. Students, I wanna talk just a little bit about social media. It is a part of all of our lives. In fact, your generation has never known a time without it. As a student in the Tempe Union High School District, we wanna remind you of the importance of using social media responsibly. You need to know that there are serious consequences for people who post threats to others or to our school campuses. These consequences, they can include suspension, expulsion, you could even be arrested for posting a threat. So be responsible social media users. Don't post any photos of weapons or make threats even as a joke. You know that all social media organizations have filters that identify threats and they are required to report these types of posts to the FBI. The FBI can then identify exactly who made that threat. Finally, if you do see a threat online, don't repost it. Report it to an adult in your life. Nobody wants to see a young person's bright future be impacted by a single post on Twitter, Snapchat, Instagram, any other social media app you might be using. All right, let's leave those phones where they're at. We're now gonna show you an important video to get this year off to the right start. Welcome back everyone, and hello. I'm Jennifer Lewer, the Executive Director of Community Relations, and next to me is Dr. Stacia Wilson, Associate Superintendent for the Tempe Union High School District. For those of you who are new to our schools, we're very happy to have you become a member of our family. For those of you returning, we're thrilled to have you back. Today, we're here to present some very important information from the District's Student and Parent Handbook. The handbook can be found online on your school's webpage, and it outlines the expectations that the Tempe Union High School District has for students who attend our schools. We set these expectations to help ensure that all students, parents, teachers, staff, and community members are able to enjoy all educational opportunities offered by our schools. Today, we'll be discussing some selected policies and sharing them with you so you are aware of their importance as a student in this district. At the conclusion of this video, all teachers will give each student a form to sign that acknowledges you have seen this video. But we'll talk more about that in the end. First, let's talk about student expectations. As a student in Tempe Union High School District, your responsibilities will be to attend school daily and give your best effort. Track your academic progress through Student View and communicate with your teachers. Get involved in extracurricular activities at school, complete your homework, and ask for help when needed. Live a healthy lifestyle and develop positive relationships. And finally, use technology and social media responsibly. Now, let's talk about electronic resources. It's important for you to know that the use of our school's electronic resources and networks is a privilege and not a right. Inappropriate use will result in a cancellation of those privileges. The internet contains some material that is not appropriate for students. The district has taken precautions to restrict access to these types of materials by teaching students about responsible use and by using filtering software to block student access to inappropriate materials. School safety is important to everybody in our district, and it is our responsibility to provide students with a safe learning environment. In order to ensure student and staff safety, the district has implemented an emergency response plan. Should an emergency or crisis situation arise in or around our schools while schools are in session, specific procedures will be followed, including communication with law enforcement and coordinating with city and county agencies like the fire department. These specific procedures can be found on page three of the student handbook. A valid school issued ID is required to be in a student's possession at all times during school and at all school sponsored activities. Failure to produce or possess the ID card when requested could result in disciplinary action. 
Students, it is so important that you understand there is a direct connection between academic success and regular punctual attendance. So please be on time and be present. And to keep you safe during the school day, students may not leave campus without following the appropriate checkout procedures with your front office. Students in the district enjoy the right to a quality education, free from unnecessary disruptions. The total school community shares in the responsibility of maintaining the campus climate. The administration, teaching staff, and other school personnel have the responsibility to determine when student behavior is inappropriate and disruptive or in violation of the school rules or regulations set forth by the governing board. Students attending off-campus school-sponsored events are governed by the same regulations that apply to their on-campus behavior. Representing someone else's work as your own is dishonest. Students are expected to complete their assignments or tests with honesty and integrity, as it represents what the student can and cannot do. Cheating has no role in the Tempe Union High School District learning community. Personal electronic devices are permitted to be on campus. However, it's important to note that you are responsible for ensuring your electronic device is not a disruption to the educational environment. Misuse of electronic devices may result in disciplinary action and students who bring an electronic device on campus do so at their own risk. Students must show their school-issued ID card to board the school bus. Students are required to ride their assigned bus and must be at their assigned bus stop five to ten minutes before the bus is scheduled to arrive. Riding the bus is a privilege that may be revoked for violation of school rules on the bus. Your dress and appearance at school and school events must not interfere with schoolwork, create disorder, disrupt the educational environment, or present a hazard to the health and safety of others. Additionally, school dress must not display obscene language or symbols or symbols of sex, drugs, or alcohol on clothing. Tempe Union High School District prohibits all drugs, alcohol, and tobacco on its campuses. Students, it is a violation of district policy to distribute or sell alcohol or drugs, possess alcohol or drugs, or be under the influence of alcohol or drugs or any other controlled substances. A violation of this policy is an automatic long-term suspension and substance abuse counseling could be required. It is also a violation to possess, sell, or distribute tobacco on our campuses. A violation of this policy could include short-term suspension and a recommendation for smoking cessation program. Hazing is not tolerated and no student should haze, engage in hazing, or aid and help another who is engaged in hazing of any kind. This goes for everybody who is currently enrolled in our district and those planning to enroll within our district. Hazing means the intentional, knowing, or reckless act committed by a student, whether individually or in concert with other persons against another student. More information defining and pertaining to hazing can be found in the Student Parent Handbook on page 7. <music> Students, you are required to take all necessary measures to avoid fighting with another student. If a student has a conflict with another student, report it to a teacher, a counselor, or an administrator immediately. Tempe Union High School District does not allow any use of tobacco or drug use on our campuses. Any devices of vaping are also banned. We want you to watch this short public service announcement of what could happen if you're caught vaping on campus. Did you know chemicals like formaldehyde have been found in vaping juices? In addition to being bad for your health, vaping can also get you suspended from school. Don't disappear in a cloud of your own smoke. Vanish the vape. Bullying, harassment, and intimidation is not tolerated in our schools. Bullying is any written, verbal, or physical act or any electronic communication that is intended to 
or that a reasonable person would know is likely to harm one or more students. Harassment is intentional behavior by a student or group of students that is disturbing or threatening to another student or group of students. Intimidation is intentional behavior by a student or group of students that places another student or group of students in fear of harm of a person or property. Any student who is experiencing bullying or believes another student is experiencing bullying should immediately report the situation to administration or another school employee. More information regarding student bullying, harassment, and intimidation can be found in the student handbook and all school front offices, libraries, cafeterias, and gymnasiums have information posted regarding this policy. A student whose conduct may warrant suspension or expulsion shall be provided with written notice of the alleged misconduct and an opportunity to be heard by an impartial hearing officer. This particular form of due process shall depend upon the gravity of the situation and the type of discipline invoked. In certain circumstances, an alternative to long-term suspension or expulsion will be offered to the student. Due process procedures are set forth in the district's administrative regulations. When there is reason to believe that some material or matter detrimental to health, safety, and welfare of the students exists, school officials have the right to search and seize property including school property provided by the district like lockers and desks. Students should know that lockers, desks, storage areas, etc. may be inspected at any time with or without reason or with or without notice by school personnel. Students are permitted to park on school premises as a matter of privilege. The school has the right to conduct routine patrols of student parking lots and inspections of the exteriors of student automobiles on school property. The interiors of student vehicles may be inspected whenever a school authority has reason to believe that illegal or unauthorized materials may be contained inside. Such patrols and inspections may be conducted without notice, without student consent, and without a search warrant. A complaint or grievance may be raised regarding one or more of the following. Violation of the student's constitutional rights, denial of an equal opportunity to participate in any program or activity for which the student qualifies not related to the student's individual capabilities, discriminatory treatment on the basis of race, color, religion, sex, age, national origin or disability, harassment of the student by another person, intimidation by another student, bullying by another student, or concern for the student's personal safety. So, where can students find what the consequences are if they choose not to follow these rules and expectations? There is a matrix at the back of the handbook that outlines the discipline a student may receive if you have questions about the matrix, please make an appointment to speak with your principal or assistant principal so they can answer your questions. We are all looking forward to another exciting year in the Tempe Union High School District. The purposes of the policies in the student handbook are to ensure a safe environment for you to learn, compete, participate, and grow. By following these policies, we can enjoy and respect everybody's individuality while experiencing a safe educational environment. Thank you everyone for listening today. We are now going to hear instructions on how to sign the student receipt form. Students, at this time, your teachers have a student receipt form that they are going to distribute to you that acknowledges that you've received the information we reviewed with you today. Teachers, please distribute the forms to every student in your class, have them sign it, and then follow your school's procedure in collecting the forms and returning them to the appropriate administrator. Have a great year. Have a great year, everybody.